Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to go ahead and do this smoky green eye for you. This is what it looks like. Um, wow, right? What happened to my lighting? So this is what it looks like right here. I have been wearing this a few times actually since I've gotten my palette and every time I wear it, I always get compliments. It's great for green eyes, it's great for brown eyes, and it's great for hazel eyes it really just makes it pop um excuse my damp wet hair pretty sure as you can tell from my other videos i'd rather let it air dry than blow dry it but anyways this is the palette that i'm going to be using i am using a total of four colors and they are all featured in this palette right here i do not switch out to any other eyeshadow quad or whatever this is all I'm using and then for my lips I am using two long-lasting lip products one from L'Oreal and one from CoverGirl um, my products are mentioned throughout this video but of course if you have any questions just leave them down below I am always willing to answer back um, I hope you guys enjoy this video and stay tuned first I'm going to be using my Coastal Scents um, palette in Cairo and I'm going to be taking this transition shade right here it's like a taupey kind of brown color and I'm placing that all in the crease and then I'm going to go in with a larger brush and take this white and apply it as my highlight and kind of bring it down towards that taupe color so that we can blend it out like that. I'm just blending it together. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and go in with this a little bit warmer matte brown. And I'm just going to place it in the outer part of the crease. Just like that. And taking a big old blending brush, I'm going to just blend that together okay taking that highlight brush just I didn't add any more product I'm just using it to blend okay next I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this forest green color right here and I am going to pat this all on the lid I'm gonna just use my finger first And I'm using a patting motion so that it kind of blends in already. And then I'm just going to go in with the brush and intensify it more towards um, the lash line and outer corner. Okay. Once you're done with that, go ahead and just take a blending brush and just blend out any harsh lines that you may have created okay it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna be going over it with the champagne color and putting it all over that green the champagne color has gold and a little bit of green reflex in it so it complements it really well and kind of highlights it. Then we're going to take that same champagne color, put it in the ear to inner corner tear duct of your eye and bring it down to the lower lash line. Okay, now taking a pencil brush, we're going to take that same green color that we put on our lid and put it on the outer third and bring it into the middle like that 
Then take the black that's in here and just put it on the outer corner. Okay, now we're going to take that champagne color again and just kind of blend it in the middle. Putting it over that green a little bit. To kind of blend it together so it's not just harsh lines. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my eyeliner and mascara. I'll be right back. Okay, so after I applied my mascara and everything, I'm going to go in with this darker matte brown right here. And I'm just going to trace the outer part of my eye. And I'm going to also do some patting motions to help me blend it out more. And I'm just going in with a fluffy brush and circular motions. Just blending it out. Just like that. If you feel like it went up a little bit too high, just take that highlighting brush and just pat it over it. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with the black on here and I'm just going to pat the black on the outer part of my eye where the tip of the wing is. And we are just patting it to smoke it out a little bit more. And you're done with your eyeshadow. So that's what that looks like right there. I'm going to go ahead and go in with this um, eyeliner. It's called Black and Green from Milani. As you can see, it has like green specks. And I'm just going to put this on the outer corner of my eye. Okay, so that's what the finished eye looks like. <sighs> Just one of those days. Now for the lips, I'm going to be using two long-lasting um, lip products. First, I'm going to line my lips using a natural lip liner. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and go in with the L'Oreal Infallible Lipstick, Never Fail Lipstick, and this one is an 87 Walnut, it's a, like a natural, natural, <laughs> it's a natural lip color. Okay, now before this sets, I'm also going to be using this one right here. I think this is CoverGirl's Outlast Lipstick, or I have no idea what this is. I'm sorry. I think it's CoverGirl, and it's the number 205. And it's like a, a little... It's like a metallic pink, and it's just adding a little bit of pink sheen to it. And right now I'm obsessed with long-lasting lip products. And once it sets, I'm going to go ahead and add the moisturizing balm. But overall, this is the finished look. My hair is damp because I just washed it today. Let me go ahead and go over with that balm. I like these kinds of balms, not the glosses. I don't know. When I add the balm, I dab it first and then I wipe it because I don't want to take off any product. There we go. Okay. 
so this is the finished look of how it looks like up close. It looks good on green eyes, hazel eyes, and brown eyes. Every time I wear this look, I do get compliments, and yeah. So this has become like my favorite, like kind of smoky eye in a way. Because it just makes my eyes pop amazingly. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I was using my Go palette from Cairo um, in the Cairo colors. And I do have a review on this. So if you want to go ahead and see that, I will link it down below. Um, it's a really, really nice palette. It's versatile, as you can tell. And yeah. So don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. If you have any questions, just leave them down below. I try to make it a habit to where I answer everybody back. Um, yeah. So don't forget to subscribe. Thumbs up this video if you liked. And leave any requests. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.